Hi everyone, I am Apostle Michelle Peterson and today I am doing something special. I'm so excited. Um, I wanted to pray for those who desire to have a relationship with God. Uh, the God that created everything around you, everything that you see, uh, there is someone that created it and he desires to have a relationship with his creation, with mankind. And if you just look around us, you know, uh, he's been so great and so awesome um, to us. The place that he created for us is a beautiful place and uh, everything is here for us. He put everything here for us, but he desires to have a relationship with us and to be a part of our lives. And so if this is something that you would like to experience, um, the Heavenly Father, the God of all creation, he sent to this earth over 2,000 years ago, his son, the Lord Jesus, and uh, so that we can have an opportunity to enter into a covenant relationship with the Father through His Son. And so I'm going to pray with you today if that's something that you desire. Um, I'm going to pray with you today and then I'll give you some tips, some things that you can actually do to start out your relationship with God because it is a covenant relationship. And the thing about a covenant relationship, there are requirements for both parties the Lord has things that he will do for you and you also have things that you're responsible for doing in this covenant. So I'll share a few of those things um, with you after this prayer. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up your heart because you're going before the God of all creation and you want to open up your heart to him. Okay, if you don't know a lot about him, just open up your heart and be ready to receive. Just say, Lord, I want to know about you. You know, I want to be in a relationship with you. I want to know my purpose in this earth. Just open up your heart to be able to receive that right now and try to just focus on him. Okay, so then the next thing I want you to do, I want you to invite him into your life. So you can just pray this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you come into my life. I invite you into my life with my free will. I choose to invite you to be a part of my life, my everyday life. I invite you to come into my heart and dwell with me, to be a part of me in Jesus name. It's just that simple. You just invite the Lord into your life, into your heart for him to be a part of your life. It's just that simple. And if you mean it with your heart, you know, he will come and be with you. And so there are a few things that I would like to tell you now um, about this covenant. And also, you can always rewind this video and you can say the prayer a little later and you can just um, check out these requirements. But one of the things, um, our God is holy. He's perfect. He's pure. He's pure love. Uh, there's no evil in him and his kingdom the kingdom of heaven is a place as pure as pure happiness is fun um, it's beautiful you know there's pure love there there's nothing evil there and so the first thing that you want to do as being in this covenant relationship with the Lord you want to remove things from your heart okay if you have unforgiveness, if someone has hurt you or harmed, harmed you in any type of way and you still have something in your heart that you're holding on towards that person, ask the Lord to help you. That has to be removed. One of the things about um, our covenant relationship with the Lord, we get to be with him forever, but there's a process we have to go through. It's called sanctification and purif purification. And deliverance and we have to remove things from our heart because our pure hearts uh, the people with the pure hearts are the ones that will see God so it's a process and we have to keep our hearts pure from things like unforgiveness fear unbelief doubt jealousy hatred envy strife um, anger things like that we have to keep our heart pure from those things so if we had a life of uh, having a quick temper, um, holding grudges against people, uh, feeling like we're better than people, looking down on someone that may not be at your level, things like that. Uh, we have to remove those type of things from our hearts, basically. 
and uh, try to cleanse our heart from these things. So unforgiveness, any type of unforgiveness that you have in your heart towards someone. Repent, first thing you have to do is repent for allowing the unforgiveness to come into your heart. Then after you repent, ask the Lord to forgive you for allowing that unforgiveness to come into your heart. Then ask him to remove it, remove the unforgiveness from your heart. And when you're doing this, just mean it with everything in you because you want your heart to be pure. And if you're having a tough time, ask the Lord to help you mean it. Okay? The same thing with fear. If fear has entered your heart uh, from a child, if you've had situations that caused you to, to be afraid of flying, uh, spiders, um, driving, flying, you know, any type of thing that you may have fear, a fear of panic attacks, anxiety attacks. Go before the Lord and do the same thing first. Repent for allowing the fear, the anxiety, the panic to come into your heart. Then ask the Lord to forgive you for allowing it to come into your heart. Then ask Him to remove it from your heart. Okay? So this is the process to, that you do with everything. If you have envy, strife, any of those things, unforgiveness, anything in your heart towards people and towards yourself and towards God. Just repent of, repent for allowing it to come into your heart. Um, ask God to forgive you for allowing it to come into your heart and then ask Him to remove it. Okay, And so what this does, this will remove a lot of uh, things the enemy will have um, to attack you. If you get these things out of your heart, you know, these are less uh, legal rights accesses or doors he has to attack you. Uh, in. And then the Lord will reveal things later on that needs to be removed also. But this is something that you can start out removing from your heart. Okay? Alright, so um, another thing I do, would, I would like to pray this also with you. And I will do it in the next video. I'll place the video here. I'll link it here. And that you can watch this video. What this video is will be a prayer to be filled with God's Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one that will dwell in you and He will be with you to help you and to guide you and to reveal things to you. And um, just so you can live this life, you can keep your heart pure. He will be the one to help you walk in this life, you know, with God. Okay, so I'll link that video and check that out. And, um, you know, that will be also uh, a good prayer for you to pray okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and welcome to the kingdom and welcome to uh, experiencing a great long lasting relationship with your creator and check out my videos um, i do i do go into if you want to walk with god really really close i have tons of videos and i'm going to be constantly recording new stuff to help you walk with god in a close relationship Get your Bible, start reading about God, learning about Him. You know, that's really important. So start learning about Him also. That's one of the other steps that I forgot to put in there. Learn about God. Who is He? What's His character? What's His personality? What does He like? So go on the Bible, research Him, learn of Him in the Word of God, okay? So have a great day.